a herbarium is a collection of dried and pressed plants. So if you think of it like a library, but instead of books, we've got sheets with plants stuck to them. Cambridge University Herbarium is unique because of the nature of its collections. In the herbarium here, we've got 1.1 million plant specimens um, dating back over 300 years. Our Darwin collection, for example, has an extinct plant species in it. It's called Sicyos villosa. And recently, with new molecular techniques, a team have been able to extract DNA from one of the seeds of this plant. And we can therefore find out how the plant evolved and it will also give us some pointers as to why it became extinct. The British collection of plants here is one of the best, if not the best, in the world. Um, it contains species, again, going back over 300 years, and people come here and use it if they want to look at how biodiversity is changing in Britain. They can see whether plants still exist in a particular area that were existing 100 years or so ago. They can look at populations of plants to see if those populations have changed. They can be explored genetically to see if something's happening with the genetics of the plant, for example, to make it th a threatened species. The herbarium relocated to the Sainsbury Laboratory because our old building wasn't regulated in terms of climate, humidity and temperature, whereas this new fantastic space we have is regulated to keep the specimens in condition, good condition for the future. Well, recently, after relocation, we've got all our collections under one roof, which we didn't have before. And I've been finding in boxes and little bags very interesting finds, such as um, fungi collected by Charles Darwin on the Beagle Voyage, um, specimens from the Torres Strait expedition from 1898, which are full of useful information about how plants were used in those islands. Digitised collections are very important. And here in the herbarium, we're trying to photograph our specimens as quickly as we can because the sooner we get experts across the globe looking at these specimens we can get them identified. Herbaria are originally used for taxonomic purposes so exploring the relationships morphologically between plants so how the whole plant looked in comparison with another plant. More recently however with new molecular methods we can explore the genetic material that plants are made up of and herbaria all over the world are seeing a resurgence in popularity because of this reason.